Not Your Professional Walkthroughs Channel presents... My obsession caused this great foulness, and it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. Hello, my fellow NPWs, and welcome to yet another episode of Darkest Dungeon, here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs Channel, with me, your host, Max. So, today I'm feeling lucky. Lucky enough that I want to take you on one of the boss raids. Which one will it be? Obviously it will not be the profit one because... Well, let's face it. If we were to sort our heroes by a level, we can actually form a party. Damn it! Okay, this has completely ruined my plans because I want to go either for the Flash or the Siren. The Siren has one extremely rare trinket. It's so rare I've actually never seen it in my walkthroughs before. So it adds damage at death's door, crit at death's door, it also increases death blow resist and increases max HP. The thing is, most of the value in this trinket is at the death's door, which is where you don't want your hero to get in the first place, but there's no negative side effect to it. Here we have a really nice trinket for Plague Doctor. So there is Accuracy Boost to Range Skill, Stun Resist, Blight Resist, but we get additional stress. So maybe I might do an episode with a boss battle and then another episode with a boss battle, cause let's face it, Rins are level 5, Warrens level 3, Cove level 2, and we have so far done absolutely nothing in the world. So, I will definitely need to change that. Just gonna... Oh my god, 9 deeds, are you kidding me? Why are you doing this to me? We need 10 deeds to upgrade the stagecoach so that we have more capacity for heroes. Okay, uh, no, we are doing a boss battle and hopefully the footage will be recorded this time as well as I'm taking one hell of a gamble and if the footage for a boss would actually not be recorded, I would get super pissed. If I don't show you a regular raid, I don't care. There's gonna be hundreds of those. If I don't show you a boss battle, I'm gonna get angry. So what is a good party possibly for the flesh or the siren? So, unfortunately, all our Plague Doctors are now super high level. So, other heroes who can deal Blight are Grave Robber and uh, that's kind of it. So I think I will definitely go for Siren. I just need to think really, really long and hard as to whom I will take. So the reason why I need to think pretty much about the party is cause of Siren's talents. Now, she has an AoE damage attack, 
to hit all the party members. She has AoE stress attack to hit all the party members. These are negligible. The important talents are the two additional talents, which is Call of the Deep, where she summons a fish or any other cove creature to her aid, and Siren's Call, where she basically hypnotizes with her song one of your heroes to fight along her side for, I think, two terms. So, yeah. If you would to, for example, take Mammoth Arms that does nothing but boosts, he can boost her stats and you would be pretty much screwed, so it's never advised to take him for the Siren. Since she will be occupying the back row, it would be good to take level 2 heroes. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking... Like this? We have the chance to possibly move her around. We have our stress and healing crusader. We have our blight dealing grave robber who is efficient in the cove. And we have the patch up talent from the lovely musketeer who can also mark as well as the bounty hunter, the siren. So I'm feeling lucky with this lineup. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Her healing will be increased and her move chance will be reduced. It's kind of weird that both of the trinkets are actually a pair of shoes. How many legs does she have? It would be funny if we would have a musketeer with one pair of the shoes on her arms holding the musket trying to hit the siren but I should shut up with my horrible humor and head out for the boss battle so we should have everything and let's hope my lofty position wasn't always accompanied by the fear of office. And there was a time when I could walk the streets or raise a glass in the tavern without concern for molestation. Fateful as the tide, one precocious village waif made it her hobby to shadow my every errand. It was charming then. Troublesome later. I always wondered what became of the unfortunate little whiff. The funniest thing would be if the siren would be right over here. Most likely she might be in this room or this room. I'm not sure if I therefore want to go for the treasure and the curio over here as we would need to utilize two shovels along the way and this would be four battles altogether before we even start the proper quest or search for the siren. So most likely, we will just a fortune waiting to be spent. Head out in the general direction to the left. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. And try to 
find the little whiff as the ancestor referred to her. Wow, twice the fish carcass. Okay, this might be fun. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Yeah, I was just afraid that one of the heroes has the developed. Is the path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. The curiousness for dead corpses, which also includes the fish carcass. I'm afraid he will explode because we left him with one HP. Oh no, he did not. Well, that's anticlimactic. So let's get rid of you. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. And selfishly, you will heal some of your wounds and deal with the stress. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Okay, let's do it like this. Let's disarm this. Trinkets are... Definitely helping, plus his chances are super high, and the grave robber is even more efficient for finding the stuff is only the first test. The traps. Now it must be carried home. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Okay, someone needs to explain to me how can a torch end up in a fish, like in her stomach? Because we obviously found Their formation is the torches maintain the offensive. inside the fish carcass. So two of the groupers are dead. Let's get rid of you I'm so you cannot unsought. take your turn. Destroy. Let's try and pull you in closer. Beautiful. Decimated. Lovely. Foolish horrors, brought low and driven into the mud. And... Yep, so, as I anticipated, she will be over here. The light, the promise of safety. These are some serious groupings of enemies. It might not look like it, but these guys can do some serious damage. Damn it. Destroyed. Okay, so for reduced attack, 23 is really freaking impressive. Give them no quarter. Okay, so we might actually utilize a heal over here. Obliterated. Oh, 
that's not really good. Let's try again. Yeah, well... It could have been much worse. Not happy with that. Let's not prolong the battle too much now, because he can get reinforcements, and I don't want that to happen. So the question is, do we want to move through the treasure to the siren or through an empty room? I think the treasure is a decent call. Let's eat something. Let's clear out this. This is unfortunately empty. In Radiance, may we find victory. Wow, there's a lot of Hooper in this map. I'm impressed. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. I feel like the worst tourist in, in a an spot. aquarium or something. I just keep killing the fish. Good job, guys. Really good this job. This expedition at least promises success. Uh, do we want to camp? No. Portraits are always welcome. And let's battle this little siren. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I don't remember if it cures. Yeah, actually, I think the coral does cure the quirks. So, let's actually try and cure one of the locked ones. Okay, cool. So in this case, I could have gone with one of the other heroes, but their quirks are not yet locked, and removing a locked quirk is much more expensive than removing a not locked quirk. The aquatic devils have remade the poor girl in their image. She is their queen and okay. their slave. Song of Desire. Will he? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So the fun thing is now, if I were to retreat from the combat and the bounty hunter would remain beside her, he would actually be considered dead. So you cannot withdraw from the combat if one of your heroes is standing next to the siren. Because it would be obviously bad and you also have to consider the trinkets which are equipped 
with the hero as you will lose these as well and we have really nice trinkets with our bounty hunter well struck Start dealing damage to the Guardian. So the two turns have passed. Oh, she. Yep, yeah, that's unfortunate. That's even more unfortunate. But we can mark her. So potentially. Is she. No, she's not able to utilize her attack from second position. I will need to utilize Crusader's heal on her to get her to a more safer level. I don't like that she's guarded for two rounds. That was really nice shot. About to break. So let's mark the Guardian, since we will need to deal some damage to him. Nice dodge, nice nice. He'll be Bounty Hunter. Yeah, I could not have attacked the Guardian because she's protected, but because of his position, I wouldn't be able to do it anyhow. Impressive. So now she's no longer guarded. Lucky for us. Lucky, lucky. We're getting to half of her HP. So, that was bad. I could have gone for a heal instead, but what the hell. Okay, we have lost our Crusader. That's not good. I'm afraid she will do the Call of the Deep and summon another Guardian. But by marking her we should make sure... Okay, he's even reducing his own stress. I love that guy. Just keep it up, buddy. We will deal some dramatic damage to her in the meantime. Masterfully executed. Beautiful shot. Yeah, this is gonna be problematic over here. Okay, she resisted the amazing trinket is working bio queen of the aquatic depths she has no place in the sane world wow two trinkets we did not get a goddamn blueprint oh well we cleared out a boss So the fun thing is, the Vestal Trinket was possibly a reward last week for one of the raids, and here we got it just by killing the Siren. Hopefully I will have the footage and I will be also able to show it to you guys, as potentially 
beautiful. Three heroes have leveled up to level three. Beautiful, beautiful. We will definitely get rid of the sickness. And most likely what I would like to do next episode is go for the flesh boss battle. A fresh irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. So some of our trinkets are duplicating. But we starting to get some really, really nice combos of trinkets. So let's take care of our lovely crusader here. So we do have the busts and the crests. Be kind of idiotic. The front line of this war not is not in the this, but rather inside the mind. So is there something I want to get rid of? Your two chance, melee skill, healing skill while camping, scouting, damage versus beast. Healing skill, okay, plus two speed, we are locking this in, and yeah, that will be it for this boss battle. Hope you guys liked it, if you did, click like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section. Maybe some tips and tricks which you tend to utilize in your walkthrough of Darkest Dungeon. I will be more than happy to read through them. But for more content, definitely check my channel. I will leave a link in the description of the video. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.